Hi, everyone. It's Louise with Louise McKeever. I have to voice over the beginning of this because this creation was intended for a collaboration that's going to happen next Thursday, November 16th, with Aisha's Crafty Kids Club and others, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so I've ended up creating a different piece. My idea here was to create a Thanksgiving kind of piece that is a bloom in the middle with swipe outs from the bloom, and it didn't work out that way, but it did turn out really cool in the end, so I wanted to share this with you. So I will list all of my paints in the description. I only have 10 minutes for this. So I'm going to have to move pretty quickly. So everyone, I'm going to break in here for a quick commercial announcement. This Wednesday, November 8th, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be in a collaboration with Karen from Waterfall Acrylics and Lori from Art Lore, where we're going to challenge each other to a three do and three don't challenge. And in my case, I happen to have Karen as my challenger and boy, she gave me a doozy. So please tune in Wednesday, this Wednesday and see what happens. So my idea here is to do a very small bloom in the center and then we'll go from there. Just a small bloom in the middle. I don't wanna get carried away but I also want to have enough paint down here. And I don't want to have, I want to have negative space. So yes. Now this, I made some amazing coasters out of this color combination, but I have to remember that this tricorn black is going to have a different effect on these colors. And I'm curious to see how it's going to go. <laughs> because I don't know. And that's the beauty of this whole art form, is it? sometimes you just don't know what you're going to get till you give it a shot. So this is my red. My last color down is my black. curious how this is going to play out on this black base with the black in it. I'm wondering if it's going to disappear into the twilight or not. Okay, so that's for that. I've got my pearl for the next phase. Now, my cell activator. <clears throat> okay, now my cell activator. I've got my white and my black. Putting a little extra down because this is a little bit more space here than a coaster. All right, here we go. may not have any room to play. Let's see what we get. My, my flower may be too big. Well, this might be a quite a simple bloom <laughs> on a black base. Oh. Oops. So 
So all I'm doing here is breaking up the surface tension of the edge, and then I'm going to add a little more flow paint so the composition has a place to spread when I keep spinning it. I'm just stretching it out, I'm trying to pull the paint away from the composition. I'm going to need a little more. I may just be doing a bloom. It wasn't my idea. So as I'm laying more of this pillow paint but down, gorgeous. I'm going to skip ahead in spots. Best laid plans. All right. It's a pretty Thanksgiving bloom. <laughs> in my head. I apparently needed a bigger canvas. Yeah, when you're doing, when you're working in fluid art, you must stay as fluid as the fluidity of the paint. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's just leave it over here. Let's, uh, let's see what we get. I think I might just be doing a black bloom. Hmm, boy, it's pretty though. Oh, yes. So through here, I'm just going to touch up the edges and skip ahead a little bit. touch-ups. I'm just going to leave it like it is. And I think I'm just going to call it done. And I'll have to make another plan for another day on a larger canvas. I'm going to cut half of this out because you don't need to see this exercise. This was really one of the quickest blooms I've ever made. I think I've only spun it two or three times to get the full composition spread. So I look good. One more little whirl. that's going to do it. Not my intention, but I'm not going to argue with this. Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. Just making sure I got all the sides covered nicely. leaving it just like it is. Okay, that was cute. I will get you an overhead shot in a minute. And uh, thanks for being here. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm glad I did this. It's done. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please join me and subscribe. Hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And also think about joining me on Facebook, Louise McKay Art. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.